String theory is famous for a couple of things. It says that the entire universe, everything we see, is made up of tiny little vibrating strings. And it also holds that our universe is not, has not just three dimensions of space, but actually nine or 10. And the idea is that these other six or seven dimensions are sort of so tiny that we just can't see them with our naked eye. But neither of those things are the things that you should really remember about string theory. The thing that you should remember about string theory is why we're interested in it and why we study it, even though there isn't any direct experimental evidence for it today. So going back to the work of Albert Einstein, Einstein was famous for his work in two areas, quantum mechanics and gravity. He won the Nobel Prize for quantum mechanics, but he really became famous for his work on gravity, which led him to his famous theory of general relativity. So quantum mechanics and general relativity are both great. Quantum mechanics works great for describing very small things. General relativity works very well for describing very heavy things, since it's a theory of gravity. But the problem is that neither of them are complete. And if you try to put them together to describe things that are both very small and also very heavy, you find that the answers don't make sense. So there is an incompatibility between quantum mechanics and general relativity. And string theory's claim to fame it is, the, is that it is the only mathematically consistent theory that we know of which reconciles this incompatibility and combines quantum mechanics and general relativity into a single theory.